weights suitable for a, a nice tricep kickback exercise, okay? And you're going to see the return of the famous jugs coming out this morning. Okay, let's get moving. Welcome to a strength and intervals. <clears throat> let's just do a little side shuffle. So, uh, some of these things that I do with you, I do because we're all supposed to do them. The truth is, I sometimes only do them if I'm with you. If I do my own thing, I don't do some of this really healthy lateral motion. So, I tried once in a while on my own, you know, because it's the right thing to do. But, uh, back in the group with you guys, leading you through the stuff that you're supposed to be doing, helps me do the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. And it's awesome. Those, this side shuffle can be a, just a walk, a big walk, or it can be a little walk, a little step, okay? Um, what I'd love you to be is kind of more on the balls of your feet, so maybe the heels don't even touch, okay? So with this side shuffle that we've got going on right now, uh, I invite you to either keep doing exactly what you're doing, or just speed it up a little bit, okay? If it's there for you, speed it up. If you've got more space than me, you can take more steps to the side. I'm limited to the space, you know, because of the camera and all the junk in my garage. <laughs> I could do this workout in my closet, I guess, right? Three, two, one. Come on out of that. Let's do some walking butt kickers. We did, deep, we did do these on Tuesday. Um, we're doing them today. All right, so the knees have to stay low. Toes are uh, lifted inside the shoe, and we're trying to snap our heel up and possibly kick ourselves in the butt. Depending on the size of the butt, sometimes it's really easy to kick it. Sometimes it's not so easy. Uh, now, if it's, this is a really good thing to keep doing, or we can turn it into a little bit of a jog. So if the jog is there for you, Let's try that. Again, if you try this and it just does not feel right for you, then go back to the hiking and the walking. This is not for everybody. If you like it, great. If you don't, don't do it. So those knees have to stay down. They're not lifting. But the chest can be lifted. The head is up. You're looking forwards. Three. Two, one, come on out of that. Let's do some hiking now with the knees coming up. All we're gonna do is press the knee into the hand, press the knee into the hand, that's it. You can do this at the speed that works for you. And have a couple pounds of force between the knee and that hand, okay? It's almost like the hand pushes the leg back down to the floor. Now, again, whenever we're lifting those feet off the floor, also lift the toes. Man, when we all get old, uh, none of us are going to trip on anything because we're practicing these toe lifting thing, right? Uh, how much longer till we get old, by the way? <laughs> Three, two, one. Come on out of that. Let's do some uh, gentle jumping jacks. This can be a step out with a gentle arm swing or it can have a bit of a hop to it. The workout today as our famous side spring squats. So we really want to activate our, our springiness, okay? Now jumping jacks aren't for everybody. The stepping in, stepping out, uh, I'm gonna say it does the same thing for you, especially if your legs and hips and whatever doesn't like the shaking and the jiggling. Three, whew, two, one, come on out of that, all right. Open up the hips a little bit here with uh, some dynamic mobility. We're going to take a step back. So if the right leg goes backwards, both hands are going to come to the inside of the front leg. And we're just going to try to drop the hips, but keeping the back leg straight. I know my back leg isn't straight. I'm just trying. And then we pop right out of that and switch sides. We go in and we come straight out. If that floor is too far away for you, when that back leg goes back, both hands go to the front knee, okay? That's it. So we're not holding any of these positions. 
We're just going in and coming out. You also get to choose how low you go and how big that step is for you back there, okay? All right, do a few more of these. Catching our breath. I never checked, I haven't processed the video from Tuesday if you were looking for it to do on your own, sorry. Uh, yesterday, Tuesday, both Tuesday and yesterday were what I called special days at work. Uh, so no video processing happened. Uh, I'm honestly kind of worried to jump back in and take a look at it. Uh, you know, in case the screen was black or I screwed something up, right? We're doing one more each side. Because to my surprise, so far, there's been no evidence of technical failures. Alright, come out of that. And grab some water, let me show you the deal. Uh, congratulations, by the way, for showing up today. Uh, that's a solid 80% of the, of the tax. Okay, a little bit of cardio put in here, meaning I took out the rest pieces, most of the rest pieces. So we're going to do side spring squats, tricep kickbacks, plank toe taps. Side spring squats, you're standing nice and tall, you just let that one foot go to the side and catch yourself. Boom! And then push yourself back up. Boom! Push yourself back up. If you don't like that, because it's too springy and too dynamic and, I don't know, it's just your attitude maybe, you can do a, a kind of a step, step, and then a side lunge. When we do that side lunge, I'll just say most important thing would be when that knee bends, your bum cheek reaches backwards. And then you get to choose how low you go. So full dynamic is a beautiful springy full motion or step, step, sit back, step, step, and then repeat, okay? We're gonna go 30 seconds on one side, then 30 seconds on the other side. Now then we're gonna do tricep kickbacks. All right. So I picked up my jug two days ago and it was leaking, so I had to replace it. So, epic fail coming up. Tricep kickbacks, hold that tummy tight, squeeze your armpits close. We're doing this for 30 seconds, okay? When the dinger rings, there is no rest. We just transition to the next exercise super fast and it's plank toe taps, all right? That's what that looks like. You can do that fast or slow. I would say fast is harder, slow is easier. And if that horizontal position is not in your wheelhouse today, hands are on the back of the couch or a chair, or maybe the wall, and your body is nice and straight, and you can do the, the tap, the hopping up back and forth, or step out and step in. <clears throat> after, after we do all those four things, then we rest for a minute and repeat. So there is rest involved just not between each exercise. Okay, I'm hitting the timer. 10 seconds, we're going in. When we hear a ding, we move on to the next exercise. Side spring squats, three, two, one. There we go. So when, when we hear the next ding, we continue with side spring squats, but we just go the other way, all right? Hold your tummy tight. Exhale as you explode up. Ah, uh, smile. What else? Hi. You're working as hard as you want to. This might be day two for you. Three, two, one. Switching sides. There we go. So when we take out the rest, uh, we notice that our breathing starts to elevate and maybe continues to elevate and then continues to elevate. <clears throat> These are big muscles we're using now. But pretty soon we switch to little tiny muscles called their triceps. Okay, three, two, one. Grab your weights, tricep kickbacks. Catch your breath, squeeze your armpits. And this is done slow and controlled. <clears throat> we don't want momentum in those weights, all right? This works with no weight as well. I think these water jugs are about 
four liters. So what is that? Eight, nine, nine pounds almost maybe. Okay, we're switching in three, two, one. Make that quick transition to plank toe taps. Or you can make a slow transition so you can survive until the end of this round. That's completely fair. Hold your tummy tight. Keep breathing. Only 10 seconds to go. We got it. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, full minute rest. You're gonna hear the dinger ding in about 20 seconds. That just marks the halfway point of our rest. Because <clears throat> I set the thing for 30 seconds. Okay. According to my plan, we do all of that four times. So three more times. That ding is the halfway mark of our rest. Still resting. Thank goodness, we're not, I'm not ready to go again yet. Okay. So, the goal from here, since we know the routine, is for all of us to focus on ourselves with the movement. Side spring squats in three, two, one. That's for you. All right. So resist the urge to watch me too closely. Uh, feel yourself, be aware of yourself, your own movements. And you're working as hard as you want to and you're paying attention to that. And you're breathing. Three, two, one. Switching sides, same exercise, switching sides. So by now it's too late to stop. You're already in. No turning back. No longer asking yourself why you're here. You know why you're here. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Tricep kickbacks, grab those weights. Tummy tight, armpits closed and squeeze that out. Don't look at your tummy with your face. You're looking at the floor a few feet out in front of you. Exhaling as the weights go up. Five, three, two, one. Transition, plank, toe taps, plank, toe taps. Keep breathing, 12 seconds to go. Nice work, in five, three, two, one, rest. Okay, one minute rest again, We're halfway done. So at this point you might feel like you're in the groove, you're crushing yourself like a rock star, or, or you've winded yourself and you can't catch your breath. Every breath will be better than the last one. So just keep breathing, deep breathing. Now uh, that's the halfway point of the rest. We're still resting. Woo! Okay. So in 15 seconds, we start round three. You know how you're feeling now, so speed up if you want to, stay the same if it's the right thing to do, slow down if it's the right thing for you. Going in three, two, one. There we go. Exhale as you rise. Resist the urge to hold your breath at any point. Remember the, the gentler version, doing a little step. And when that body drops, 
The bum cheeks have to go backwards, reaching, reaching backwards. All right, three, two, one, going the other way. If you notice that one side is obviously more difficult than the other side, we naturally will do that, that harder side second. Uh, so on the fourth and final round, in a bit, start with that side that's less comfortable, okay? Always start with the side that's weaker. Three, two, one. Grab your weights, tricep kickbacks. Squeeze the tummy, armpits close. Here we go. Exhaling as the weights go up. seconds to go. Three, two, one. Weights down on the floor or against the wall. Plank toe taps. <clears throat> the toe tapping part is just a distraction. It's a method of making you do something without thinking about the fact that you're just doing a plank. Okay? And only 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Come on up and rest, rest, rest. Okay, one minute rest. You're going to hear a ding pretty soon. That's the uh, halfway point of the rest. Ten seconds. Oh, sorry. Never mind. I'm just, you know, talking about the clock that's in my face. <sighs> Halfway mark of the rest. This morning I was just from Tuesday's class and talking to myself or the computer or the screen and just having you guys be silent. I felt I had this wave come over me. I felt like I was Mr. Dress Up or the or that giant. Oh, what's his name? The oh, anyways, the giant guy, you know what I mean. Look up, look way up. Anyways, get ready, side spring squats. Pick a side, let's go. Because I feel like I'm telling stories. There we go, this is the last one for this leg. So, <clears throat> let's go. Move it. Or just do what's comfortable, I, either one, all right? Either be inspired by my beratement or just do what you wanna do. Three, two, one. Switching sides. If you've got some energy left in the tank, you might wanna speed this up a little bit. It's always an option. Again, it's the middle of September. No one's working that hard right now. Just be glad you're here. Three, two, one. Grab your weights, tricep kickbacks. Squeeze your armpits. Look at the floor at least eight or 10 feet out in front of you. Don't sling those weights. I think some of them might be swinging up this fourth set here. Squeeze at the top. Only do it right if you want the results, right? That's the thing. Three, two, one. Put those down, plank toe taps. Here we go. Last thing. Can you speed this up a little bit? 10, uh, 12 seconds to go. Feel springy though. Most importantly, feel strong. Look good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Stop. You may just lie down and rest. You may get up. Your choice. If you are up, walk around. Oh. I'm just looking at the next part of the workout 
I didn't look ahead because I wanted it to be a surprise for myself. And, well, I'm surprised. <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed, but anyways. I made the workout, so that's the deal. So I get this mat out for two things. Nap time and something else. Okay? So coming up, uh, I think maybe, huh, I think it's in two weeks, around two weeks from now or so, it's a special day. Not my birthday. It's National Burpee Day. So yeah, we're doing burpees. Here we go. So, what I'd like for us is to do burpees for 30 seconds and then rest for 30 seconds. We do that three times. That's the plan. Now, we may not have done burpees since June. And by we, I mean I. So, <clears throat> we can do this in a number of ways. Full meal deal, shoot those feet out, hit the floor, and jump. Okay? That's the full meal deal. The other end of the spectrum is reach for the floor, walk those feet out, don't go down, walk the feet up, and then just do the wave. Okay? Add a little bit of a jump to it if you want. Okay? And intermediate, when those hands get down, the feet pop out and they pop back, and there's a little jump. Okay? So, do the type of burpee that's going to feel right for you today. That's important. Try to make it, I'll say, gentle enough so you can go the full 30 seconds. Uh, and then 30 second rest is short, I know. I don't know what idiot wrote that up, but that's the way it is. So know that. 30 seconds, three times. Don't kill yourself. Here we go. We're going in 10. I think. Yeah. Okay. So, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Three, two, one. Burpee time. Here we go. Really practice where you inhale and where you exhale. Exhale should come in the hardest part, except I'm not sure where the easy part is, so we just have to figure that out for ourselves. Pay attention. Are you holding your breath at any point? Don't do that. Rest. Woo! One done. Oh, I forgot to mention, try counting how many you do. And then don't be a pansy and do less the next time. Do the same number. Or do more. Oh, that was harder than I thought it was going to be. Five ah, seconds to go. Three, two, one. Go. There we go. Constant rhythm, constant pace, constant fun. Cannot believe you're doing this, eh? <laughs> the tummy is tight when you get down to the bottom, and as you push yourself up, really bracing that stomach. Almost done. Rest. Okay, from the beginning of the rest, big breaths. day is on Tuesday. Like my day, my workout day. Okay, last one coming up. Three, two, one. That's for you. All right, here's your choice. If you have a little extra, then push it out. This is the last thing that we do that has any vigor to it. to go. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, rest. If you're lying down, that's fair. If you're up, walk around and catch your breath. 
If your breath is making a noise, like, ugh, okay, try to smooth that out or just stop it. It should just be air moving. It doesn't have to be a noise because the noise takes energy. Okay? Woo. When it's right for you, you can grab some water and catch your breath still. Fantastic. All right. So a little bit of stretching. Let's do a quad stretch to start with. So I like to do the standing. Um, and this is something we do in a warm-up sometimes when we wake up the balance, but we're not going to wake up the balance. Uh, the balance may have sailed. That ship is gone. So lean on something. Unless, of course, you really want to work on your balance. So I'm going to lean on something with my left hand. Right foot goes into right hand. The important things here are you squeeze the knees together, tuck the pelvis kind of in so your lower back goes flat, and then you uh, shrug up with your right arm to put the stretch on the quad. And we hold. Nice job. Okay, so wherever we are in our fitness, experience. Um, we might be getting back into things. Uh, you might be peaking in your athletic ability or you might be somewhere in the middle. Three, two, one. Let that go and switch sides. But I think for at least some of us, well for all of us we're transitioning into fall. Some of us are trans transitioning into a different work experience. Um, so those transitions sometimes kind of throw a monkey wrench into our fitness energy sometimes can drop it's fall so maybe there's a hibernation tendency uh, coming in we don't have to fight that just understand that's what's happening so be kind to yourself as you're as you're judging yourself three two one let that go let's do the same thing on the first side Okay. So, um, I've been kind of part of this whole exercise thing for my whole life, and I really try hard to um, learn, uh, admit when I'm wrong, when I used to do things that I used to think were right and they weren't, and I try to remember that as I move forwards. And uh, uh, one of those things is to be less judgmental of my performance. Three, two, one, let that go. Uh, be more cognizant of what my body is giving me on, on a given day and go with that. And instead of being a kind of a nine or a 10 out of 10 when it comes to pushing, uh, it's okay to normally be around that seven out of 10, maybe six out of 10. Because uh, then on the days when, you know, your friends show up and you've got to hit it because you need to beat them all or uh, whatever, you just want to do something extra special and there's a little extra gas in the tank for that. Three, two, one, let that go. Awesome. Let's do a little quick hip stretch on both sides here. So similar to the stretch we did on Tuesday, if you were with me that day, but this one's going to be standing, so lean on something. Left ankle across right knee, and now we're going to sit. Uh, the toes inside that left shoe are lifted. Uh, if I had a nice big belly, that belly would be sitting in the triangle between my legs. My chest is still up. I'm still looking forwards, but I'm trying to reach my chest kind of forwards and my bum backwards. Hey, do you want to know one of the secrets to, uh, what's the word? Looking young? Oh, you're all listening now, eh? Um, keep your hip mobility. Three, two, one. Come on up, let's switch legs. Keep your hip mobility, okay? So let's do the same stretch. Now, whether you're a 
kinesiology major or just a regular person, we can all look at someone and intuitively tell some things like, is that person sick? Is that person old? Is that person strong? Sometimes just by looking, you get a sense. And one of the things that when you try to guess, how old is that person walking by? If their hips are stiff, we will guess a higher number than if, that, if the hips are loose. All right, three, two, one. Come on out of that. I should charge for these amazing tips, right? Uh, you can send money in the mail or just e-transfer something. Uh, that's our time for today. Congratulations on showing up. I appreciate it. So does your body. I'll be back next week probably.